What up, Sky Striker fans? Hello, my name is Red New. I play a lot of Sky Strikers on Master Duel live on this YouTube channel. So, subscribe if you want to come chill, talk about Yu Gi Oh!, watch me play, whatever you want to do. My viewers have been asking me to react to Camellia on stream. Sky Striker Ace Camellia, that is. You see her on the whiteboard over there. And I did. But while I was sure Camellia was going to be good, I wasn't immediately sold on whether Camellia was going to be great or not. That said, now that I had a bit of time to ponder and think and ruminate about Camellia, I think she's actually great and a lot better than what most people would tell you she is and I'm going to tell you why. At first, when you read Camellia, she already seems very good. The biggest thing about Camellia, by far, is her first effect, which reads, Once per turn, if you have three or less spells in your graveyard, you can send one Sky Striker card from your deck to the graveyard. So that already is very good. That means a lot of things. For one, since Camellia can be made by any two generic effect monsters, that means you can open up a ton of deck building opportunities to end up with half of your ideal board state, which is to have a Sky Striker Ace Link monster on the board with Ray in the graveyard to pop out if anything were to happen to said Link monster. Like, so over here, you see Shizuku over here with Ray in the grave, right? As well, you can send a Sky Striker spell to the graveyard to fulfill your Sky Striker condition of having three spells in your graveyard in order to turn your Sky Striker engage into a Pot of Greed and other fun stuff like that. This is especially good when you consider the fact that before Camellia, our only way to reliably dump Ray into the graveyard was with Hayate. The problem with Hayate, however, is that you have to make her with a Sky Shaker Ace monster, so Ray or Rose or any of the Link ones, but if you're going into her first thing, it's usually Ray or Rose, right? Uh, you have to go into battle phase and you have to make a successful attack in order to make that dump happen. Camellia solves all of those issues for just a slightly different cost of requiring two monsters on your side of the board in order to link summon her. So that's great, that's good, that means we have options. With the new Sages and more notably uh, Ciela, this is going to be a lot easier for Sky Strikers, but we'll talk about Ciela on a different time. This sounds good for Sky Strikers, but it doesn't sound great. She still requires two monsters, which isn't the easiest thing to do, especially if you're playing less Rose and don't have the conditions that Camellia is meant to help you with, right? Because let's say you want to steal their monster with Widow Anchor. Well, you can't if you don't have the three spells in Grave. Camellia helps set that up. Okay, so what's the deal? Why do I think that Camellia is actually going to be a great card? Not just a good card, but a great one. A staple for Sky Strikers that you cannot cut. The answer is not as simple as you might think. Let's first read Camellia's second effect. It reads, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one monster your opponent controls, special summon this card to their field. And if you do, send that monster to the graveyard. Also, shift control to this card's owner during the end phase of this turn. At first, you might think, all right, cool. She's a part of a board breaking solution. It's a little weird, it's a little roundabout, but she sends monsters to the grave permanently without destruction, as opposed to Zeke, who only temporarily banishes monsters if you're using her for removal. Maybe you even thought, holy crap, this effect isn't once per turn. You might even be able to use her to wipe an entire board by sacrificing Camellia by battle, right? Running into something stronger. Then you revive Ray from the graveyard. Then you run Ray into Camellia, crashing both of them in order to revive Camellia again and remove another threat. I know I did, <laughs> but sadly, she doesn't work that way because Camellia can only be special summoned once per turn. But now after realizing this, you may be thinking, wait a minute, this means she can't be a board breaker. And you'd be right. You see the second part of her effect, special summons Camellia and specifies that you are the one special summoning her. So Camellia's second effect is actually absolutely useless on the turn you link summon her. But wait a minute, if that's the case, Renu, then why do you think she's going to be great? Well, I'll tell you why. This realization led me to understand what Camellia's second effect is actually for. Camellia's second effect is meant to be used with linkage. 
Yes, one of the best cards in any Sky Striker deck. If you're unfamiliar, Sky Striker Mobilized Linkage has two major functions. For one, it is a starter card. So long as you open another spell or trap, you can send that spell or trap with Linkage in order to special summon any of your Link 1 Sky Striker Aces. Likely, this is Hayate in order for you to dump Ray or do other Sky Striker shenanigans. The other function is to be used as a major damage source, and pretty realistically, as an option to OTK the opponent. Linkage is up there with Engage as one of the best cards in any Sky Striker deck, and it's about to get better. The idea behind Camellia's second effect is this. End your turn on Camellia. Now, if you're low on resources or you don't have multi rolls set up, chances are you're going to opt for Shizuku instead, and that's fine, and that's valid. But while Camellia's first effect helps you set up in achieving your powered up state of having three spells and Ray in the grave, her second effect helps turn one of the best cards in your deck into a reactive form of monster removal. And let me demonstrate that for you here. You have your Camellia summoned, and you set Linkage, you set Widow Anchor, and maybe you have other sets, who knows, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to pass the turn. You want to end your turn on Camellia because she turns your Linkage into a form of monster removal. Your opponent special summons one monster, special summons another monster. Uh-oh, they're going to go into an XC, they're going to go into a Link. What do you do? You're going to go ahead and activate Linkage, sending Camellia to the graveyard, right? and swapping it for anything i don't know let's go and say ahead and say kagari you make kagari and so you've made kagari with linkage right you sent camellia to the graveyard there are two things that are going to happen kagari is going to activate and trigger as well as camellia is going to trigger and you can choose the order because they both will activate at the same time they're both triggered at the same time Kagari is triggered by special summoning and Camellia is triggered by sending her to the graveyard, right? So this is all in the grave now and both of these effects go on chain. Now you could chain block now. You can play around Ghost Ogre, right, by putting Kagari on chain link one. You can play around Ghost Bell by putting Camellia on chain link one. Okay, so what do you do now? You get your nice free Sky Striker spell from Kagari. You add that to your hand. That's great. And what's going to happen is Camellia is going to come out on the opponent's board and they're going to target one of these two monsters, which doesn't really matter, and send it to the grave. And now you have a nice Sky Striker spell from the Kagari. You have a live Widow Anchor still, right? And you have this monster that was removed. You disrupted their ability to go into the extra deck. On top of all this, Kagari is going to be backed up by Ray. If anything were to happen to Kagari, then you have Ray jumping out and taking her spot, right? So that's good. But let's say you need even more defensive options. Maybe you don't go for Kagari. Let's say you went for Kaina instead. You would be able to remove this monster and then stun this one, right? This one won't be able to attack. So that's another defensive option that you have with Kaina, right? But it's probably better instead of just disrupting like a Link Summon or an Extra Deck Summon because if you notice, the opponent could just Link Summon Camellia off. They can get easily a Link 3 monster from this. Instead of doing that, it's probably better to wait for them to have made, uh, let's say, Baguska or some other uh, extra deck monster, I don't know, Unicorn, right? And remove that from the board. And Baguska would be removed, right? Because Camellia activates from the grave. Not that anyone would really make Baguska against you as a Link uh, player, but that's neither here nor there. Whatever monster they make, right, you're able to remove. And with Kaina, you're able to disrupt another monster and stop them from attacking. With Kagari, you're able to get a, another card. There's a lot of options and it all comes from Linkage and Camellia. And guess what? Now the opponent needs to get rid of this Camellia. Because if they don't get rid of this Camellia, by the end of their next turn, it's going to come back on your side of the board. And you're able to go into your Link 3 plays, Link Climb into Link 4, whatever, uh, more easily with Camellia or let's say you had multi roll or area zero set up you're able to send Camellia to the graveyard and reap the benefits of area zero excavating multi roll stopping them from uh, responding to your magic spells right and also having that Camellia effect as an option to remove another monster let's say uh, somehow they're able to get something else right so that is crazy right that is really good it turns linkage 
from one of the best cards in your deck into an even better card. It turns into a trap now, right? And you have a Camellia coming back to your board and you're able to use her as fodder for any of your other uh, Skystriker spells. So to sum it all up, you got rid of an extra deck monster with Camellia. You are able to float resources. You may be plus one with Kagari, who's able to salvage, right? And you're able to float resources because Ray can still hop in and defend. Widow Anchor is still live. It's still an option. Maybe you didn't have Widow Anchor. That's fine. Linkage is still a form of disruptive removal now. With all of that said, I am pretty convinced that without a doubt, Camellia is going to be a great Sky Striker staple. She helps set up your power conditions by not only providing you an effect to dump Ray or spells from your deck, but she is also able to convert any two effect monsters into a Sky Striker Ace Link 1 with Ray in the Grave. On top of all this, she turns one of the best cards in a Sky Strikers deck, Linkage, which already does pretty much everything for Sky Strikers, into now a very disruptive monster removal. So those are my thoughts, but I really am curious about what you guys have to say and think. How good do you think Camellia will be in Sky Strikers? Let me know in the comments below. I'll make sure to respond to as many as I can. If you enjoyed this discussion video, let me know. I'd like to do more and maybe talk about Azalea next. Follow my Twitter and subscribe to this channel to know when I go live and play Master Duel next time, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.